This is Dave Warner with Art in the Adirondacks, and I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Art in the Adirondacks iOS app. So you've got the little uh, green leaf here in the center of the screen. I'm going to tap that and launch it. And you'll see that it brings up the Art in the Adirondacks app. Down along the bottom, you've got navigation. You've got a news feed that basically brings in all the press releases and things like that that we uh, post online. And you can see there's one here, Valerie Patterson exhibit. And so we're going to tap that top one. And you get the story detail. You get the, the headline and the fact that we polished it. And you get an image, nice image. You can actually scroll down and read the rest of the article. And if there's a link to go somewhere, you can actually tap on it. And it'll bring up a window where you can actually bring up the entire website that was, it was linked to. So we're going to close that, go back to the news section. The events area, we're going to tap that. And what that's doing is loading the events section of the website. Takes just a little bit here. So you can see it's got just a little explanation of what the events calendar is showing. And then this is the first 16, these little red pins are the first 16 uh, locations that are listed in the app for the events coming up. And you can see right here, here's the first event. And here's another one. And kind of scroll down and let's go ahead and look at the uh, form and decoration here, cultivating harmony. Tap on that to get the detail of that. And you'll see that there's an image here and an explanation. A lot of detail in this one. And then you can export this to Google Calendar or iCal. And it's got more specific information about where it is. And it shows you a little map location of where it is. So you tap the back button, it goes back to the page you want showing all the different events. Members is an area that shows all the different people that are in our database. So for instance, it's sorted by all the different groups here. And let's just say Art Centers. We'll pick that and see what we've got listed. We've got a listing of these here. So let's take the Adirondack Lake Center for the Arts and Blue Mountain Lake. Tap that first one. And it's got a lot of information about the center and the fact that it's closed for the winter right now. But it gives kind of an explanation of who they are and where they are. And you can see their website. If you tap on See Website, you can send an email. If you say Send Email, if you tap the phone, it will actually call. You can also uh, map it. And it'll call up a map here. If you tap on Directions, you can actually get directions to it. Maps are loading here a little bit slowly, mainly because of my internet connection here and what I've got. It says it's one hour and 43 minutes from where I am. And so we're going to go back to the app now. Going to go back to the listings. You've got a more section here. And if you want to see all the different organizations that we've got in here, you can call up a generalized map of the region and everybody that's in the database. You can expand on that. Scroll to an area you might be interested in. Tap on a specific one and you'll see what it is. Go back to the more section here. Broadcasts, those are podcasts, video casts, and things like that that we do from time to time. And so when you actually tap on one of those, you get some detail about what it is, but you also get a play icon. And what you can do is tap the play icon and it will start playing the actual podcast. So we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna go back to the next section, artist bios, kind of self-explanatory when we write stories and things. Uh, 
for artists that are advertising in the app. We put their bio in there. We've got feature stories that we do, resources for artists and collectors where we list a lot of different things that might be of interest to them, stories and information that might be of interest to them. We've got a press section where we do our own press releases, and we put those in here. And then we've also got a weather section. And what the weather section does is it tries to locate the nearest weather recording station to your location so that you can kind of see what the weather would be like to go to a specific event. What's it going to be like? So right now it's clear 41 degrees. It picked Dallasville as the closest weather recording station to where I am. And then you can kind of see an hourly forecast and then a daily forecast. So kind of a handy thing to have there. and let you know what the weather's going to be like for that art event. Full website is kind of self-explanatory. It goes to the full website. The About section gives you an opportunity to share our app. If you're interested in advertising in it or you have some kind of a bug or feature you'd like to see, you can tap on those. And what they'll do is they'll bring up a little email form that you can use to send something to us directly from the app some privacy policy things, and then an ability to contact us directly from within here, where if you tap on the phone number, it will call us. If you tap on editor at Art in the Adirondacks, it will email us, and you can fill out what you'd like to say, what you'd like to say. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this little demo of the app, and uh, you'll download it from the iOS store, iTunes store. Thank you.